The Aya Arini Monument, 1,500 years old, rises on the crest of the Sultan Ahmet on the grounds of the Sultan's Palace, Topkapi. Crumbling and cracked, the Byzantine Aya Arini is one of the ancient buildings the government of Turkey, with help from the World Bank, is trying to protect in the case of an earthquake. Lemi Benli is with Turkey's Ministry of Culture. This cultural heritage not only belongs to Turkey, but it belongs to the whole world. Aya Arini is one of 2,500 public buildings in Istanbul that the government says is vulnerable to earthquakes. The 1999 earthquake in Marmara, Turkey killed 17,000 people and did about 5 billion U.S. dollars worth of damage. But a similar earthquake in Istanbul would be far more devastating. Istanbul is the financial and cultural capital of Turkey, and a major earthquake here would paralyze the country. 15 million Istanbul residents live in tightly packed houses. City leaders figure there are 2,000 streets too narrow for emergency vehicles. Experts warn a 7.5 quake could kill 70,000 people in Istanbul and topple as many as 100,000 buildings, something residents are well aware of. We're worried about earthquakes. As a nation, we think we are not ready. I am worried because I can't really trust the construction in my house. To protect the city and its people, the government is examining and plans to reinforce hundreds of public buildings, 600 schools, 40 hospitals and nearly 200 historical sites like the archaeological museum. The city of Istanbul also requires new buildings to be constructed according to code and is investing in the skills of and equipment for emergency response teams. One such investment is a new communication center where team leaders can direct help in case of an earthquake, floods or snow. This is a 10th grade geography class at the Sisley Vocational High School in Istanbul. Students used to come to classes in this building, but now construction workers are replacing the old concrete walls with shear walls, which can better absorb the impact of an earthquake. This is the last building on campus to be retrofitted for earthquakes. Kaizim Gurkan Elgin is overseeing the project for the city. It's very important of our project to strengthen the schools. It's our future because uh, and uh, up to now, uh, we strengthened uh, 230 schools, which includes nearly 400,000 students. Uh, it's very important uh, for uh, Turkey's uh, future, I think. The long-term goal of the project is to save lives and turn Istanbul within the next decade or two into a city that can withstand a major earthquake. And in this ageless city, time is crucial. There's over a 60% likelihood of a major earthquake hitting Istanbul within the next three decades.